assalamu alaikum uh, dear students uh, i welcome all of you in today's uh, video lesson dear students i hope you are doing good today we are going to study about the moon dear students moon uh, which is also known as luna can be defined as the moon is a large natural object that orbits or travels around the earth dear students here we have uh, some facts about the moon number 1 is after the sun it is the brightest object in the sky number 2 the moon is about 4.5 billion years old and it is the only natural satellite in our solar system the moon formed about 30 to 50 million years after the earth formed in simple words we can say that the moon formed about 30 to 50 million years after the birth of earth a popular theory is that a mars sized rock named thea crashed into the earth around 4.5 billion years ago the debris from the collision clumped together to make what is now our moon this is the simplest and very renowned theory uh, about the existence of uh, or the birth of the moon dear students the first man to make proper map of the moon was galileo because he was the inventor of telescope and he used that telescope to see the moon although he didn't uh, invent the telescope um, but by 1609 he had developed a telescope that could magnify objects up to 20 times okay dear students now we will talk about the first man who reached in the moon the first attempt uh, to reach the moon was the spacecraft whose name was a luna 1 in 1959 launched in 1959 which was a soviet craft and launched by ussr dear students actually <coughs> it did not land on the moon but passed within the 3725 miles uh, which is 5995 kilometers of the surface of the moon before going into orbit around the sun students ever you heard about neil armstrong well in case you have not he was the first person to put his footsteps on the moon so neil armstrong was the very first person to put his first step on the moon he stepped out of his spacecraft the name of spacecraft was the eagle on 21st july 1969 and said these very famous words here we have a picture of uh, neil armstrong and these are the words uh, of neil armstrong that is one small step of man one giant leap for mankind dear students now we will talk about the mechanism of the moon then how the moon works moon is the fifth largest moon in the solar system as we know 
the average distance from the moon to the earth is 2,38,857 miles which is 3,84,403 km kilometers. The moon has a very small core which is only about 1-2% to of the moon's mass and roughly 420 miles which is 680 km wide. Its diameter is 3474.2 km. Force of gravity of moon is 1.62 meters per second square. It is it probably consists mostly of iron but may also can contain large amount of sulfur and other elements. Its rocky mantle is about 825 miles which is 1330 km thick and made up of dense rock which dense rocks rich in iron and magnesium. The moon goes around the earth uh, every 27.3 days or approximately in many books uh, this figure is uh, written as 29 days. Although the moon shines bright in the night sky, it doesn't produce its own light. We see the moon because it reflects light from the sun. So here we have a result uh, dear students that moon hasn't its own light. The temperature on the moon varies from super hot to super cold. When the sun hits its surface temperatures can reach a scorching 127 degrees centigrade but when the sun goes down temperatures can fall to around minus 153 degrees centigrade. Dear students, here we have other planets of our solar system with their moons. Mercury and Venus uh, doesn't have any a moon. Earth uh, has a one moon as we know. Mars has uh, two moons. Jupiter has 63 moons. Saturn has uh, 61. Uranus has uh, 27. Neptune has 13. And Pluto which is not a part of our solar system has uh, three moons. So thank you very much dear students for your attention. I hope you got the idea about the moon and its birth, uh, its history. So if you have any problem, any question, any uh, hesitation about this uh, lesson, you can call me, you can ask me any question anytime. Stay at home, stay blessed, Allah Hafiz.